Hey Shadows, what's up? It's Shadow of Siege here. And finally, I got this game called Evo Land. It is absolutely amazing, and I love it already. I kind of started playing just to see what it was like and if it was even worth recording. And I absolutely love it. It is amazing. Um, so it's kind of... It'll explain itself as um, we go on. Alright, so we have to go over here and grab this stuff. So basically, we're um, pretty much just kind of walking through here. Um, the graphics are <laughs> um, still pretty plain, not too, uh, you know, high tech. But the cool thing about this game is uh, things like you get like chests and stuff and you... Um, how can I say this? You basically evolve through adventure. Um, like through the adventure games. So I'm trying to think right now. Um, but you basically evolve through all the uh, adventure games up to date, I think. And just how they've changed and all that cool stuff. Pretty awesome, actually. Um, so we start out pretty pretty basic um, graphics, nothing too special. I need to figure out what to do here. Um, kind of like Pokemon graphics actually. A lot like that. Where am I supposed to go? I don't remember this part. Ah, here we go. Alright, yeah, we got color. Awesome. Let's kill this. Oh, hello there. Alright, so I don't know how long this game is. It says it's a short story, so I have no idea. But, um, I haven't gotten too far. But already, it's an amazing game. I love it. It's awesome. What does this do? Alright, Evil Land, a short story of adventure, video games, evolution. Centuries of peace and ancient evil has finally resurfaced to threaten the world of Evolandia. <laughs> You're one of the few remaining members of the Order of the Dragon Knights, whose purpose is to travel the world to help the needy and fight evil. Those centuries of peace clearly mean you haven't had a whole lot to do recently, but it looks like business is picking up again. Awesome. I'm ready. Um, now what? Ah, here we go. Star, I got a star. I know this is something I can do. Whatever. To go find more chests. So I guess every chest that I find, it unlocks something else about the game or something new. Oh, 256. Oh god. It, like, sped up really quickly there. Alright. Hello, bat. Die. Look at the- look, this is awesome. I mean, going back to these kind of games is amazing. Oh, now we got free movement. Okay. I like free movement. Hello there. Die. Sign panel. Whoa, I'm going really fast. Pass reserved for agile adventures. Okay. I know it's possible to save, like on those things. I don't know where the chest is, though. I gotta find the chest that allows me to save. Or else this game is going to get very, very hard. Alright, so uh, I'll have to go through here. Is it through here? Nope. Let's see if we can find it. It's not through here. It's a pretty cheap game, um, and I definitely would recommend it. It's actually really, really fun. You don't need any high computer specs to play it, though. So, like, right now, I'm running a steady 60 FPS, so. Oh, wow. Save points. There we go. Game saved. Okay, so let's keep going. Uh, let's see, is it? I think it's up here. I think. Uh, there we go. Yep, there we go. Save again. And keep going. This way. Alright, so, so far we got, uh, a basic adventure game. Nothing, uh, too special. But, uh, normal graphics. From back in, like, the 1990s, I think, or something like that. For some reason, always on these guys, I always seem to die. They're really hard to kill. Haha. Come on. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Haha. 
Yes, I did it. Look at those skills. Inventory. Okay. Awesome. I have a sword. Overworld. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like the Mario thing. Oh, what the? Slime. Attack. Yes, attack it. Oh god, it did damage. Yeah, we win. 50 gliss. Okay. I don't know what gliss is, but... Another chest. Mode 7. Oh, really? Oh gosh, emuke. Whatever that is. Die. Ow. Uh... Oh god. This thing is doing a lot of damage. No, oh, it's dead. Awesome. So, pretty much if you guys haven't figured it out yet, um, the game basically evolves and becomes better and better and better until it's like modern day adventure games, I guess. Already. I don't know why I'm killing these, and I think I can just go past them. Hello there, you're dead. Oh. Ow. Save. Alright, so I don't remember where to go from here. I know there's a way. Somewhere. We're actually coming pretty close up to the point where I don't remember. Or I don't remember where I was, actually. I remember I was close from to here. Like, I was pretty close, actually. Can I go through these rocks? No, I can't. I'll have to look even better then. We might actually have to kill that guy. I don't remember doing that though, but oh well. I guess we can do it. Come on. Oh gosh. Ah, okay. I guess we did. Village. Why do all the why do villages always have such annoying music? So true. NPC. Okay, he doesn't talk to children apparently. Fine then. I'm like a little pixel. Do you talk to children? Nope, you don't. Okay. Oh, you're a child. I need the growth seed. I can no longer be a child. The seed I found has fallen down the well. I'm just gonna go get it back. It's too dark down there. Where is this well? I will find it. Uh, we're actually about to hit the point where I've not played that part. Or this part. Right after the well, that's when I stop playing, so here we go. Ooh, seed. And I'm giant. Awesome. We have uh, a little bit better animations, I guess. What's with all the kids in video games, anyways? So true. Card worm. Okay. Alright. Let's, uh,. Yep, pretty much up to here. I have not played the rest then. This is as far as I've gotten. Let's go. In. Come on, I can't go in there. Why can't I get in? I want to go into the house. Um. Must be a chest or something. Ah, yes, here. Enter houses. Now we can go in. Another chest. Innkeeper, nice bed is waiting for you at the decent at a decent price. I don't want to get a bed though. That's too mainstream. I'm gonna go to the next house. Oh, he's so small. Let's go. Oh, nothing. Shopkeeper, okay. Uh, bye. Oh gosh, I want to get some of this. I want a long sword. Awesome. Did I get it or? Oh well. I think I got it. Um. Yep, this is as far as I've played. Okay, here we go. I don't know what to do now. The door is locked. Okay. Let's try and go in this house. The chest. Torque. The new card to play double twin. Right. I don't know what we can do with that, but, uh, 
whatever. With my current equipment, okay, fine. So apparently I need to get better equipment. I'll just leave the town. See what you guys think about that. Alright. Oops, I can't do that. I don't know what to do. Oh god. Oh, I don't have a special? Oh, insta-kill. Wow. Crap, I only have 68 HP. Crap. 100 gills. Awesome. Alright, I'm gonna buy armor now. I think this is a shop. Yep, it is. Or I won't buy armor. Go fight some more monsters. Maybe one more. I'm not exactly sure if I'm supposed to be doing this or... Oh, I can't go over. There we go. More slimes. Insta-kill them both. Oh, that sucks. Alright. Now we can go. Papunika Village. That's the village's name. Copper armor. You're now ready to fight strong monsters. Alright, so I guess now I can go. Doesn't look like I have copper armor on, but then again, I mean... We're still in like the 19... 19s, I guess. 1900s around there. Okay, this is as far as I've gotten. Here we go. I'm excited. Uh, force fight. Someone is calling for help. Oh my god. What? Looks like she got attacked by these monsters. Holy crap. I probably should have gotten, like, a potion or something. Oh wait, I think I have a potion, actually, but I don't think I need to use it yet. A Skaven. Yeah, we win. What the? Thank you for saving me from these monsters. I need the crystal in the cave to save my hometown. Will you help me? Yes. Oh, okay. I like that name. <laughs> awesome. Let's go. We're going into this cave. The crystal caves. What the? You need to find the crystal. Its power can change your perception of the world. And with it, you can fight the evil that threatens my village. By the way, I just noticed that I forgot to ask your name. My name? Clink. What? Uh, alright, I have to use my arrow keys. Uh, let's, oh god. It's gonna be a long time. I'll just do shadow. Because I'm going to, oh wait, that's a zero. <laughs> Not good. Go over there. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, okay. Cave monsters. Oh, the cat. Oh god, what? Oh, wow, Torque. Uh oh. Looks like Torque is ex. Oh, wait, I can. I control both of them. Oops. I didn't know that. Alright, magic. Heal both of us. I'm gonna kill this guy. Go. Oh, miss. Yeah, we did it. Alright, good. Now we actually have a companion and we can uh, do stuff. Oh gosh. Alright. So I guess it's kind of like Pokemon, where in the dark you get attacked by monsters, which isn't bad, I guess. Alright. I need to find a... Oh my god. Cobra Zero. Wow. <laughs> that was easy. Okay, good chest. And I can't get to it. No. And it is also as annoying as Pokemon. Come on, Kairos. It's a torque. I completely killed it. We're gonna go this way. 
Oh my god. Kill the, kill the Skaven. Come on, Karis. Yeah, you got it. Good job. You can actually do something. Ooh! Found a potion. Oh boy. Found 50 gills. Oh my god. Yup, still as annoying as, uh, Pokemon. Definitely. Oh, come on, Karis. What? I missed. She missed, too. This is not normal. Come on. Karis, finish it. Oh my god. There we go. Put on a potion. Okay, we're gonna get out of here. Come on. Oh god. Cobra Zero again. See, I always do the first, like, 12, and then... Oh, she actually did it. Good. I've noticed my FPS has been changing every time we get, like, a new thing. Experience points. Ooh. Oh, what the... Alright. I'll attack, torque. You heal both of us. Good job. Shadows have reached level 2, his attack has increased. Awesome. It's becoming more and more like an adventure game, which is actually awesome. Oh, oh, come on. Wow, that was easy. Life fountain. I heal my wounds. Save your game, definitely, yes. Let's see, what, what else? Oh my god. Alright, Kairos. Kill the thing. Oh, come on. You can do it. Nope, that's not there. Where is the crystal then? Oh my god. Almost got it, Kairos. Come on. There you go. Oh, what is- uh oh. Heaven somewhere okay, but where? Skaven, okay. We don't know what happened, apparently. Oh, so close. Karis needs to get better. Like, I'm hitting, like, 20s. Oh, leveled up. Good. But the funny thing about this is, um, my FPS has been changing, like, the entire time. Like, at first was at, like, 60, and then it was at 30, and then it was at 60 again, and it's been changing a bunch, so... Pretty cool. Holy crap, 19. That's not good. I like the life fountain. Yes, save my game again. Oh my god. Oh boy. Gotta kill Torque. Oh, you missed. Come on, Skaven. Or not Skaven. k or whatever. Oh wow. Actually killed it. It's a first. Uh... Did I... Hit like a dead end or something? Oh my god. More... Stupid Cobra Zero. I guess I'm getting XP from this though, so... I guess it's pretty good. And of course I miss. Oh my god. Only Kairos is hitting now, I can't hit it. There we go. I guess I spoke too soon. I think it's this way. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I just took a wrong turn or something. This fighting is getting kind of annoying. <laughs> It's gotta be up. Yep, it's up here. I thought so. Giant crystal. You woke up the guardian of the crystal. Okay. Kefka's ghost. The crystal's guardian for many centuries, but he looks like it has been corrupted by some evil power. Most likely the same evil that has attacked my own town. Okay. Let's uh, do this. Oh, look at that. I've already hidden. 
boss now. He looks much dangerous now. Oh god. Oh wow. I shouldn't have done that. Come on. Oh god, it's gonna kill Kairos. Kairos, heal. Hurry. I gotta kill it. Come on, Kairos. Oh no, I crap. Oh, Kairos is dead. Come on, Kairos. Oh no. Kairos is out. It's just me. I can do this. Come on. I can do this. Oh no. It's doing so much damage. Come on. No, it's not dying. I got this potion. Oh, I should probably use it on Kairos instead of me. Come on. I can kill it. Yeah, I did it. My life has increased. It's been activated. The power has been activated. Oh my god. What is happening? Oh. My. God. 3D. Awesome. Like I said, it's definitely changed. Chest. What does I get? 16-bit music. Music's evolving too. Oh. Bats. Uh, life parts. Okay. Awesome. Huh. This is awesome. Well, that took a turn for the better. Star. Uh, let's see. What else? Zumba. Alright, well, I think this is a good first episode, I think. Uh, a bit long, but I kind of wanted to show like the best parts of the game and uh, get 3D at least. So, yeah, here we go. We're going to start playing this. Uh, hopefully the game isn't too short. Ow, that hurt. And uh, hopefully you guys like it. You know, just uh, tell me if you like it or whatever. And think if it's a good game. And post in the comments if you've ever played an adventure game that was that old. Like the ones that we were playing, or the graphics that I was playing with. If you played with that kind of graphics ever. Besides Pokemon and like, you know, those other, kind of, those other kinds of games. Ow, god, don't kill me. Yeah. Lots of little bats. Pixelated textures. Ooh. Alright, well, uh, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Goodbye.